What's up guys, hope you can hear me. Um, so we have two shootings in El Paso, Texas, and one in Dayton, Ohio. Reporting with the one in El Paso. Now, uh, Patrick Crisuin, he was 21 years of age, took upon himself to go all the way from Dallas area to the El Paso area and he shot up a, a Walmart man you know it's killing like over 18 to 20 people man 26 people were critically injured man and uh, mo according to them it was some children that were involved and so they was taken to the El Paso Children's Hospital now Betty O'Rourke who was the U.S. representative of the 16th Congressional District of Texas he's actually from El Paso Texas he ran for the City Council and you know, they was interviewing him about this he was saying that you know yes it was mo racially motivated uh, it was a hate crime crime and they're doing everything they can man to do some type of little gun reform or to make this uh street safer man and now uh, you're working with Margo. Margo is the mayor of el paso and greg abbott now president trump tweeted out yes it's a very uh, sad situation that's going on they're meeting things right now with the governor and i'm just thinking like man it's just the, this individual took upon himself you know he sought rifle and just killed so many people man and the employees, man, according to interviewing them, they, the employees just started like it was just large boxes just falling down, or someone had some type of human error, or some construction site that was going on, man. They didn't think, you know, people was gonna shoot up a Walmart. I mean, of all places, the dude didn't even want to rob the place. He was just seeking out blood, just bloodthirsty, and many employees started seeking shelter. It was a McDonald's, not too far from uh, the Walmart, and it's sad, man. I just want to give a, a huge. Um, you know, congrats to uh, Glendon. I think, no, he's an Army Specialist. And I forgot his name, though, but the Army Specialist, man, he, he did what he could because he was saying that, you know, hey, we was just trained to shoot to kill, man, and ask questions later. If we see, like, innocent people, you know, getting gunned down, we have to go in there and engage. And uh, I appreciate his bravery on that, man. Um, they was interviewing on CNN. He was just talking about how crazy it was. It was just a lot of blood going on, man, and people was purchasing items and I mean, you just see people like just walking around a, a pool of blood, and it's just like a spiritual warfare that's going on, man. It's really crazy, and I don't know if like many people think these shootings are going to go into the fact that you know United States citizens are just going to give up and start giving up their guns away uh, to the U.S. government and probably just eliminate the Second Amendment. But I mean, I know the Democrats are probably going to really, really push forward into gun reformer gun control ban all the guns get all of this but my thing is you know criminals are always going to have access to guns they're going to have access to ar-15s they getting their guns illegally anyway and you know with uh u.s representative presidential candidate democrat uh beto o'roke you saying that well you know since trump's been off he signed different executive orders man that just really went against the hispanics now and according to the inc inconvenient truth that was like a little post that was really going to detail about the how Hispanics may be, uh, particularly may be involved into political power in the next few years. And, you know, it was in support of an uh, incident that happened in New Zealand. We got about like 51 people was getting killed, man. And they were saying like, well, you know, the Hispanics, they're going to be on top politically. And both parties, the Democrats and Republicans, should do something about this. And, you know, a lot of this is really racially involved, man. It's not right. You know, the legal immigrants are just like boarded up and I do believe in protection and, and setting up the wall a little bit you know because we gotta have some type of you know criminal background in order to keep the country safe but just the way they're going about doing it and our uh, you know people in Congress I just do not agree with that man but hey but it is what it is man um, it, it's just sad you know my prayers and condolences to this you know incident I do not condone this at all man it, it, it's it's horrible I just pray that you know the people that are surviving right now it's probably be you know, maybe on their last leg, I don't know, or ventilators that, you know, God would heal them. And, you know, in the Bible it does say it's the righteous will perish. And these are the signs of the end times, man. And that's why I just say, you know, just love yourself, love your family members, man. Just, you know, guys, do what you can for the Lord, man, because evil is going to persist. Evil is going to do whatever they can to kill as many people as they want because they borrow off a of lost time. They're already lost. So they trying to just have people just join them. And this is what Satan is doing, man. You know, it's just a pretty much destroying the youth and just this mental health clinics you need mental health clinics as well i don't know if this dude was on psychiatric drugs man for him just to spaz out and to take upon himself to kill innocent people or he was just bloodthirsty and i remember back in detroit and try to tie this in back in detroit you know they they closed down a lot of uh, mental health clinics and i can talk about this because i used to work at a hospital a trauma hospital and they used to always just come to our hospital just to get treatment and medications but it's, it needs to be overfilled with nurses and 
different other people. Psychiatrists used to get overwhelmed. But, I mean, some people, man, it, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's just depression or it's just something in the air of the chemtrails. It's, it's got to be something going on, man. Or they just luring us to the point that we just have to give up our gun rights. And going back to Dayton, Ohio, downtown district, man, the Oregon District uh, Police Department, you know, they killed this individual at a .223 caliber. He killed, like, over, like, nine people in less than one minute. Injured, like, 20 people, man. It was just ridiculous, man. It was just one setting. So these two mass shootings, man, it's, it's very ridiculous. I don't really uh, hate hate reporting this, but it's the times that we're living in. And my prayers into this family, man. Um, but these... You know, God is real, man. He's, I think he's really trying to show us something, man. And at the end of the day, that we just have to get back to spiritually, get back into Christ, man. And that's the only way, you know, because it's like a cursed nation, cursed land. Like, just too many people. It's too many, like, evil people, man. It's just doing whatever they want to do. And that's why I feel like as a Christian that we have to live our lives the best we can possible, man. Just do it. Spreading the word, God. Helping other people, man, you know, spiritually, financially, everything we can, and just utilizing our gifts that the Lord has given us instead of just sitting back and being passive and just having that mindset that Jesus is going to come back. Yes, that is true, but we still have to be proactive while we still have this time here on earth. And because even people, they find it many ways to hack into our systems. You got the Russians trying to hack into Sony. I mean, all kinds of things, man. There's a Capital One breach it almost happened, man. You know, it's, it's so many people just very intelligent just doing evil things. And, you know, this is one of my motivations is, you know, as someone that's good. And we have to learn as much as was possible and, and just be all on alert. Just high alert of evil terrorists so according to rootless.com i'm gonna wrap this up they charged the individual with domestic terrorism um this is capital murder punishment i know some uh, african-americans and african-american communities comparing this to how um they just easily arrested him even though he didn't resist arrest and i know he was comparing to the eric gardner when he was getting choked out by staten island he was trying to break up a fight but he was selling individuals like underage people with cigarettes and loopies and all these things and he got choked out and they were saying well how come they can successfully apprehend you know whites and other people who do these crazy crimes but compared to african americans what they do oh you just up and shoot them that's a little bit of debatable but i mean a lot of them don't some some like african americans resist arrest some people don't and it depends on the cops man but i, I kind of completely understand what they're saying like you know the time our rice thing and the toy guns just shoot them but I don't know, man. I just, I don't know if it's a huge spot or it's just, just the end of the world. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it, it's the world just ended. Like, just people just really running crazy, man. I don't know if it's something in the water. But we live in this world that had too, so much technology and so much opportunities in this land. And people just perishing just for no reason. But I don't know, man. I just don't want to ramble on. That's all I really have to say. This is my really thoughts on the two mass shootings. It's sad. My prayers, I'm going to pray for them uh, continuously. And... Just continue to move forward, man, because this can happen anywhere. You know, uh, think about the Las Vegas shooting, the Sutherland Springs, Texas shooting that happened. This, that was the one of the first mass shootings in Texas. You know, people got shot and killed in, in the church. But it's crazy, man. But, you know, Satan's running wild, and a way to combat that is uh, we fighting against spiritual, we got fighting against the spiritual battle, and we just got to be armed with Christ, be armed with the Spirit, rest place of righteousness, helmet of salvation. Right, the sword to fight back evil. We have to come back this. But it's your boy Young Lee Jr. You guys continue to like, comment, subscribe, uh, support the channel if you want. You know, in the PayPal link is gonna be in the description box. But I just really want to just talk about this, man. Um, is this gonna be another gun reform? We'll see what Congress is going to do, man, up and in his office. I'm out. Deuces.